Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So this lecture is about nodal analysis. Nodal analysis in the frequency domain. So let's consider a simple circuit. Uh, we have an inductor here. Uh, a resistor here and a capacitor here right so this is I suppose uh, j10 ohm inductor and this is minus j10 ohm the capacitor and this is 10 ohm the resistor and suppose this is 10 volts simply so we are interested to find the voltage here let's call this voltage v1 so this is load here and this is the reference node right so we can use uh, Kirchhoff's uh, current law to write the uh, equation for this node and then solve it to find V1. This can be done in many ways. So uh, for example, uh, let's uh, call it method one. Uh, let's use the Kirchhoff's uh, laws uh, uh, form which says that the uh, all sum of all the currents leaving a node is uh, zero. Uh, sum of all the currents leaving a node is zero. So in that case, it would mean that this is the node. So there is a current leaving here, suppose this is a current leaving here and this is a current leaving here. So some of all these three currents, there are three branches associated with this node. So there are three currents. So sum of all these three currents, which we suppose that are, they are leaving the node, it should be zero. So for this current to leave the node, uh, the current will be the potential difference across this uh, uh, impedance divided by the value of this impedance. And the current through this branch will be the potential difference across this resistor divided by the uh, the value of this resistance. And then uh, the potential difference across this branch and divided by the impedance of this branch. So the potential difference in this direction uh, across this branch is given by V1 minus 10. And the current will be given by, by dividing this potential difference by J10. So V1 minus 10 divided by j10 and then this current v1 the voltage of the reference node is 0 so v1 minus 0 so that will be v1 divided by 10 plus uh, v1 again minus 0 divided by minus j10 v1 divided by minus j10 is equal to 0 so first of all uh, this equation involves uh, imaginary numbers so first of all, uh, uh, what we will do is, is to uh, take this uh, uh, j value uh, in the numerator. So 1 over j is equal to minus j. So we write minus j into v1 minus 10 over 10, right? Plus v1 over 10. And then this is minus j. So when j will go, uh, it goes in the numerator, it will be minus j. So the minus here, so that will be plus j v1 over 10. So multiplying the whole equation with 10, we get minus j v1 minus 10 plus v1 plus j v1 is equal to 0. So let's open this bracket minus j v1 plus j 10 plus v1 and plus j v1 is equal to 0. So you see this cancels out. So we're left with v1 is equal to minus j10 and that is equal to 10 angle minus 90 degrees volts. So this is the voltage that we have found at this node. So this voltage can be uh, found in other way also. For example, uh, we can use a different form of the Kirchhoff's law. Let's call this method 2. So uh, 
sum of all the currents uh, what we used here was that sum of all the currents leaving a node is zero so an alternate way to state this is sum of all the currents entering a node is zero sum of all the currents entering a node is zero so let me redraw this circuit here just to use new directions for the currents so this is 10 ohm this is j10 ohm this is 10 volts this is minus j10 uh, ohm and we call this voltage v1 here this is the reference node now what you are saying the sum of all the currents entering a node is zero so we suppose that the currents are entering this node so we suppose the current direction of the current is here is this way here is this way is entering the node and again the direction of the current is this way here it's entering the node so to find the current in this direction we suppose that this voltage higher than this voltage so we say 10 minus v1 and then divided by j10 the impedance this gives us this is the voltage and divided by the impedance is this whole uh, fraction is current right so and see the direction of the potential is diff, diff, is different than the one here so the because the direction of the current is uh, that we are supposed now is opposite and here uh, 0 minus v1 so that will be minus v1 over 10 right and here again the current is in this direction so that will be 0 minus v1 that is minus v1 divided by minus j10 and that is equal to 0 so again uh, let's uh, uh, bring that the this uh, imaginary value j to the numerator so that will be minus j 10 minus v1 divided by 10 minus v1 divided by 10 and that will be minus minus plus and when j goes up it will be again minus j v1 divided by 10 is equal to 0. so multiplying this whole equation by 10 we get minus j 10 minus v1 minus v1 minus j v1 is equal to 0. so that is minus j 10 plus j v1 minus v1 minus j v1 is equal to 0. so again this cancels out here and we have v1 is equal to minus j 10 that is 10 angle minus 90 degrees what's the same answer that we obtained here but in a different in a different way using a different method so still we can use another variation of uh, uh, Kirchhoff's current law uh, what we can say is that sum of uh, all the currents entering a node is equal to sum of all the currents leaving the node sum of all the currents entering a node is equal to sum of currents leaving the node so to illustrate this let me redraw this circuit yet again so this is minus j10 ohm 10 ohm j10 ohm this is 10 volts so suppose uh, and this is node v1 and this is the reference node so suppose current here in this uh, uh, j10 ohm uh, impedance is in this direction it is entering the node and let's assume that current is leaving the node here and leaving the node here we could have uh, assumed a different direction also we could have assumed that uh, current here is within this direction and here in, is, in, is in the opposite direction and here also is in the opposite direction so there are many ways actually to assume the directions of the current here but whatever we assume will will arrive at the same conclusion and the same result so let's see so the current here is in this direction from 10 volts to v1 so 10 minus v1 divided by j10 so that's the only current which is entering the node and it should be equal to the sum of currents leaving the node right 
and here for example this is v1 over 10 the current is in this direction so v1 minus 0 divided by 10 and plus v1 minus 0 that is v1 over minus j10 so sum of currents entering the node is equal to sum of currents leaving the node so once again we bring j to the numerator so that is minus j 10 minus v1 divided by 10 v1 over 10 and and this minus here and when j goes up it is plus j v1 over 10 right so we multiply this whole thing with 10 so that is minus j 10 minus v1 is equal to v1 plus j v1 so that is minus j 10 plus j v1 is equal to v1 plus j v1 so j v1 j v1 cancels here so v1 is equal to minus j10 that is 10 angle minus 90 degrees volts so yet again the result is the same uh, that we arrived at uh, using different directions of the current so whatever uh, uh, form of the Kirchhoff's current law we use we will arrive at the uh, same conclusion and we have also seen that there are many ways to write the uh, nodal equations when we are when we are performing node analysis to solve a circuit